We're out here on a beautiful 60 degree Fahrenheit mid-February day here in beautiful downtown Rochester, New York. And there's nothing really better that I can think of to do today than go on a little stealth camp, huh? If you're watching Small Plots with Kevin, I'm Kevin. Uh, walking through downtown now, I have about an hour walk ahead of me. Snaking through the city, walking down the lanes and the boulevards to get to a city park with the perfect place to camp. If this is your first time to the channel, well, thanks for joining. Welcome. My thing is I like to go urban stealth camping. I live in the downtown area of Rochester, New York, and there's so many little pockets of forestry, so many little parks that are just mwah, ripe for the camping. So I take it upon myself to fill that potential and camp in them. So if this video tickles your fancy, uh, and if you are okay with me saying the phrase tickle your fancy, uh, pop a subscribe. Got a lot more coming up. Got tons in the backlog. Either way, if this isn't your first time joining us, uh, thanks for thanks for coming back, guys. It's nice. It's nice to see you. It's a beautiful day, and I am beyond pumped to go camping. It's about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Very nice for mid-February here. Uh, here it is in uh, Selsen height. This way is probably like, it's like 37,000 degrees Celsius, probably something like that if I'm doing my math correctly. I've only been walking for 10 or 15 minutes and I'm already, already feeling a little sweaty. It's gonna be a sweaty one. Not what I expected for a winter camp. I am really looking forward to tonight's stealth camp. Got some good food, got some good drink. It's gonna be a classic. It's gonna be classic small plots, stealth camping, urban hiking adventure. Uh, I'm, I needed this so bad. It's been, it's been a little while since I've done exactly this. Of course I go out camping, but this, walk into the thing, with this, with my leg being what it was, I don't know, I'm just rambling. Okay, we're getting kind of close to the park. A uh, ton of people out, ton of traffic. It's a nice day, it's rush hour, just a lot going on. So I'm hoping that once I get to the park, some of that will not be so much. Uh, but I can't count on it. There might be people walking their dogs. There might be people just kind of enjoying the park on this beautiful day. Uh, so I'll keep my eyes peeled. It's good, whatever I do, it's gonna be conspicuous. People are gonna see me. I obviously look like I'm going camping and I'm gonna be jumping into the forest. So I'm gonna do the best I can, but I, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, people, even right now, people are watching me film. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, that's just kinda, that's just kinda how it is. I don't know if you saw the guys were in the, in the building. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> the guy came out, he was like, I thought you were talking to the pole. Because I had my camera attached to the pole. Well, you know, poles can be good conversation. You know, I don't want to judge someone. Maybe people like talking to poles. You know, people from Poland. Okay, here we go into the park. I don't see anybody. There's a lot of trash. Looks like somebody went crazy with some big bites. What's that? What's big? There's all these big bites. What's this? Let me see if I can pick one up here. Oh, whatever this is. There's like a bunch of that garbage around. That's cool. Idiots. Some more big bites. Good stuff. Good stuff. Beyond the big bites, there are no people, which is really what my concern was. So I'm going to head off on a little trail here and just assume nobody's on it. I am wearing my muck boots um, because it's like basically a swamp I have to walk through, which will hopefully assure no one will be visiting me unless they have muck boots. They might have muck boots. They're not not like a difficult commodity to obtain but uh you know doesn't look super inviting to walk through <sighs> but that's why we're walking through it looks like somebody had a fire right here just kind of out in the out in the open for the god and everybody maybe i'm thinking maybe maybe i'm overthinking the stealth camp thing See uh, an enormous deer with an enormous white tail. It's probably a brown-tailed deer. I don't think anybody's gonna be out here tonight. I don't see any footprints. Uh, well, eh, kind of footprints. It's hard to tell if they're deer or people. But uh, we are in a city park, so anything's possible. Just when I came in, I look behind me and somebody is just standing right where I walked in, staring at me. I saw the flick of a lighter. Maybe they're just, they're just smoking or something. I don't even know if they're looking at me actually. I just zoomed in. And it kind of that they were facing the other way. Yeah, they're facing, they're sitting down on a log. They're sitting down on a log. I don't know if they know I'm here, but they're definitely close enough to turn around and see me, which I don't want. So I gotta be extra careful. I have no idea how long they've been there. They could have been, they could have been behind me the whole time I was doing that. I, I would have never known. See all these game trails. I haven't seen a boot print or anything yet. It's all just deer prints. So that's good. Tarnation? Huh. Didn't expect to see this out here. Fire hydrant. Guess there used to be roads out here at some point. Usually don't just have random fire hydrants out here in the forest. 
Well, I guess sometimes you do because I checked the aerial maps all the way back to 1951, which is the farthest uh, back it would go, and no roads. No roads. So either that fire hydrant is older than the 50s, um, or it's just, you know, like a cool little guy hanging out in the woods, and that's, that's really all there is to it. There are basically no options to hang a hammock. I'm gonna just have to pick two trees and have a not great hang. I think there's people talking. It's weird about that guy that may, may have seen me come in here. I've heard a few large sticks break in that direction. I just keep my eyes out. I just heard music, but I think it's from a passing car. Thought it was talking. Well, luckily this is a forest where it's it would be difficult to sneak up on somebody. It's a lot of brush, a lot of water. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of peaceful back here. I hear a helicopter going overhead. Um, basically, what I'm going to do. I don't know if the camera is picking up on it. Uh, that tree and that tree. I'm gonna have like little saplings tickling the bottom of the hammock. It's the best I can do. There's nothing. A any trees that are even kind of usable for a hammock, there's just water underneath them and I don't want to camp with, with water <laughs> underneath me. Um, so that's the best we got. That's the best we got. It's, it's the best, best we're gonna do. Ooh, that's a heavy pack. Uh. See all these saplings, these are gonna be hitting the bottom of my hammock. I don't really have a choice, it's just the way it's gotta be. We got this not great tree, and this not great tree. But you know what? They're gonna be great trees for me. That's simply not going to work. I'm, I'm taller than that. I thought that was it. Those were going to be the trees. Those were the trees for me. Um, okay. Gotta find something better. Huh. Wonder if I could take this side off. Maybe attach it to another tree somewhere. Okay, well, this I thought this was going to work. This is the highest. This is the best. It is at the, the tip top of each side. And it's just, that's not going to work. I can't, I can't sleep that way. It's just, I just would, would not fit. All right, all right. Try number two, try number two. Okay, had to break some uh, dead branches, some dead standing trees to be able to make this happen, but I think I got it. Looks like a pretty decent hang. Trees are not like the most sturdy in the world. Kind of see this moving, but this uh, it's what we have. It's what we got. It should do for one night. Um, or it'll fall and crush me in the night. All right, let's get a tarp going. It's supposed to rain tonight.
Okay, got the hammock up, got the tarp up. The tarp is hung very strangely. <laughs> you can see, so I got this little guy kind of keeping it out, but the center of the tarp is like right here. It's not in the center where the ridge line is. And uh, on the other side, I have it tied to uh, some, some trees. And it's just kind of what it looks like uh, on this side. I think I'm gonna pull that middle guy out, tie it somewhere so I don't get wet when it rains tonight. That's basically it. I'm gonna set up my sleeping pad. And, uh, well, I think you know what comes after that. I think we all know what comes after that. I think you guys are well aware of what comes after that. This is uh, just straight up camping in a swamp. <laughs> there's there's uh, just water everywhere. Um, finally got everything set up. As you can see, it's just, just not, I'm not expecting anyone coming back here. Let me just say that. It's not a place anyone really probably goes on purpose. Um, but it's time to break into the beverage center today. Starting off with a kind of juicy from Three Heads Brewing here in Rochester, New York. Uh, it's, a, it's a hazy double IPA. So, uh, you know, Forget about it there. Not a big deal. Let's see how we're rocking. That's amazing. It's really good. <sighs> what a whirlwind. Got about uh, probably an hour of daylight left. I still I, I need to cook tonight to eat, so I still have to get firewood, uh, get a fire going. I think. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. There's a spot right over there, kind of next to the uh, fire hydrant, uh, behind a big tree. The big tree will block the fire from the road over there, which I am very close to. See lots of cars constantly. And in the night, a campfire would be, well, just so very obvious to everyone who drives by. So, other side of the big old fat tree should, uh, should be good. One thing I am worried about is uh, behind the camera, over there are apartments that I can't see now, really. I can kind of see like the roof uh, and over this way are homes. Again, I can't see them now, but I'm worried that once it gets darker and like interior lights start turning on, I'm gonna realize, oh my God, I'm so close. We'll see, we'll see. I, I mean, I, I, again, I don't think anyone's coming back here. Um, it is a stealth camp, but it's a pretty rustic stealth camp. I feel pretty good that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get away with it. When I said just a minute ago, it was about uh, an hour till sunset, I bamboozled you. I was mistaken. I was, it's actually like a half hour until sunset. Just checked the clock. So I gotta get moving and shaking on, on uh, getting some, some wood. Shouldn't be too hard. You, you can't, you can't uh, go anywhere without tripping over massive amounts of dead branches that are dry, just dangling. So I'm really not anticipating much of anything. Uh, I got a cool way to light the fire tonight I'm very excited about. I uh, haven't done it yet on the channel, so stay tuned to see if you light the fire in a weird, uh, scientific way. That's uh, it's gonna be exciting for everyone involved. Me. I'm gonna sit here for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, sip this beer. Relax. It's been kind of go, go, go. Um, just get my bearings, look around, and uh, start getting the fire going. Start getting that fire going. Getting the... I'm going to start the fire. Sawdust all the stuff. Fire time. Got some birch bark, my favorite way to start a fire. I harvest it whenever I'm out and I see it. And uh, this, this is probably harvested like last summer or something. I usually get a lot. So don't need a ton. Hold it down like that. Maybe a smackerel more. 
Uh, that's not the interesting part. The interesting part, you may have seen these, was I have one of these uh, electric lighters. So essentially, let's see if the camera picks up on that. It's like electricity. See, it makes a little cross of electricity. And uh, you just have to start a fire. Put some uh, punky wood up against the tree. I'm not, the fire will not be up against the tree, but I figured I'll put the punky stuff right up there. All right, here we go. Let's, let's try to do a little more. There we go. Nice. Worked pretty well. Got all my kindling here. Nice tinder. Ooh, that smells so good. Ooh, yeah. How about that? I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. There's traffic all behind me here. I'll probably sit right here, block from that angle, and then this tree is gonna block from the other angles. Ooh, that's going right in the face. I'm already bleeding in a few places. I got just so much, so much uh, just sticks. There's so much sticks. There's so many sticks. There you have a fire. Oh, that just went right in my shirt. Oop, ha, ha. <laughs> fire. <sighs> it's been a minute since I've sat down. Certainly not since I've gotten here after the walk. <sighs> yeah, man, what a great day. I'm still, you can see, I'm, it's the sun's about to set and I haven't put a jacket on yet. I have a jacket, I have warmer stuff, but even tonight, it's not supposed to dip below 50, so I may not even need it. Um, this fire is for company, a little bit of warmth, uh, but mostly for cooking. Uh, so I may not even keep it going all night. I'm gonna keep it going for now, for a little while. It's kind of nice to have, but uh, we'll see We'll see how, how I maintain it as the night goes on. Ah, well, before dinner, I got a little bit of a snack. Uh, we got uh, Righteous Fellow Craft Jerky Bootlegging Barbecue. So that's just, just a legal barbecue. This is a Christmas gift from my friends Justin and Stina. Shout out to Justin and Stina. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm pumped to try this. It is made in America. So am I. And I'm not that great. So Tempering expectations. Ooh, it smells so good. That's awesome. That's so good. This whole bag only has 150 calories. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. It's diet food. It says on the back here a little history of Righteous Fellow Craft Jerky Boot Like a Barbecue. In 1997, a band of three young, small-time crooks developed a recipe for a highly potent substance that went by the street name, Jerky. Within weeks, Jerky flooded the streets of Chester County, Pennsylvania, and the gang was moving 10 kilos a week, pushing in the back alleys, the street corners, and the recess yards, just the whole thing. I think it's just a cute little thing, because obviously Jerky was not invented in 1997. That's, that's adorable though. Save some more of that for later. Well, the sun is setting right about now. I can kind of see it over going behind the trees there. So far, no disturbances, no weirdnesses. I've seen a lot of squirrels. I saw a red squirrel. It's beautiful. Beautiful red squirrel. Uh, just see a ton of traffic. Like I can see full cars. I'm sure if they're looking, they can look in and see this campfire. There's a sidewalk there. I'm sure pedestrians can look in and see this, but 
they may just think this is like somebody's backyard or something there are houses over that way which as it gets darker I still don't see any lights coming from that direction so that's a good sign that I'm not too close I don't know if the camera's picking up on it still tons of traffic noise it's still rush hour uh, hopefully that will taper off as the night goes on it's nice it'll be nice to have like a little bit quieter stealth camp I, I camp so often next to expressways and things that are loud uh, once this traffic dies down and it will die down uh, it'll be nice it'll be nice and peaceful occasional car go by I'm sure but uh, yeah, this is kind of surprisingly rustic for where I am. A uh, highly populated area. Got the uh, fire hydrant over there. It has a little bit of graffiti on it, so I know people have been here. Um, that's wild, man. I wonder how long... I wonder, I wonder what the deal with that is. Like, what... I'll have to look at some uh, old aerial maps of this place to see, like, what was here to why there's a fire hydrant just right in the middle of the woods here. I wasn't aware this was ever anything, but yeah. Again, other than this giant tree right next to me, most of the trees around me are young growth, you know, 20-ish, 30 years old. Not too bad, <laughs> not too old. Hopefully nothing crazy dashes by my tent tonight. I think I just saw a squirrel. Terrifying. <laughs> walk around there's like I, I don't know how much the camera's gonna pick up there's so many deer trails around here just so very obvious deer trails I'm probably gonna hear, hear some of them tonight and it'll freak me out man I'm so glad I wore my muck boots I, I, I yes I'm leaving my fire going but I'm not going far so it's not like I'm gonna leave it unattended for very long Ooh, it's actually kind of kind of smoky over here yeah, that's from me. <laughs> uh, you can't, I'm sure the camera's not picking up on it, but there's a slight haze. Actually, I can kind of see it on the camera a little bit. It's a slight haze. That's definitely from me. I don't think it's foggy. It could be foggy, but I don't think so. Wow, yeah, it's just swamp. It's just swamp back here, guys. Wow, we. That's where um, there's an apartment complex that way. Um, if I go this way, you can get closer to the houses, but I don't see any lights. Oh boy, prickers. Okay, let's get, let's get, let's get, let's get, it. yeah, just get, yeah, yeah, ooh, ow, 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 oh my god, I'm, I'm caught, I'm stuck, oh, standing up doesn't do anything, I'm just, see if the camera can pick up, I'm just stuck, just, <laughs> I can't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there's a huge pr pricker bush. <sighs> Jeez, man, I'm gonna tear this freaking hoodie. Ow! <laughs> this is the worst! I'm stuck. Alright, nope, still stuck. The hoodie especially. Or the hood of the hoodie. <sighs> Alright, good to know when I come back this way. Oof! Alright. Gosh, I'm still... Good lord! Ah, I hate prickers, stickers, whatever you want to call them. Oh, yep. There's a, there's a light of a house. Let's see if the camera can pick up on it. I don't know. It's over there somewhere. I don't think so. I think it's too far for the camera. We we'll definitely have to boost the exposure on this segment. You know, this area right here isn't too bad. If 
I was just a little more patient. I could have set up camp here, maybe. I still don't see any good trees. When I say a little more patient, what you guys didn't see was off camera, me walking around for like a half hour looking for any two trees. All right, I don't wanna go too much farther. There's just brush, there's a light. I don't, know, I don't even know what that is. I think that's actually, yeah, I don't know what that is. I can definitely see my, my camp from here. There's the campfire. All right, let's head back before I burn this place down. Ah! I tried to, I tried to avoid it. I tried to avoid it. <sighs> didn't do, didn't avoid it. <sighs> okay. That wasn't as bad as the first time going under there. It's the only, the only way to go to get back to camp. Ah, oh, that's looking like home. I think I'm pretty sure that was a deer. Something just ran by and I saw a, a white thing. So it was either a white guy or a white-tailed deer. I'm pretty sure it was the white-tailed deer. Just joof. scared me a little bit, but you kind of get used to seeing and hearing the deer. Um, and also I saw them as soon as I came in here, so I'm kind of just been looking around for them anyway. Just zipped down by that way. I was quiet and then I like said something out loud to myself. <laughs> I don't even remember what it was. I was like, oh man, so relaxed or something. And it like startled the deer. <laughs> That's all right. Well, we'll let him be. Sorry, deer. I know this is like a huge thing. Deer, uh, if you don't know, are like very, uh, very uh, susceptible to changes in the forest around them. They, they like sameness. They like uh, things that do not change. And when they do change, they're very aware of it and very apprehensive of it. Uh, thus, them freaking out when they see me. And I'm camping directly on a deer trail, like directly, like just straight up on it. So they're probably like, oh, let me go over here and get a little sip of water next to the fire hydrant. Oh my God, it's a man. It's pretty much what they were thinking. How's it going? Well, anyway, you guys know I can't go on a bit of a camp on a bit of the Space Kitty. So here we are. We got Space Kitty. Uh, one of my favorite beers. It's just a great camping beer. I started bringing it out camping because it just tastes fine, not cold. It's better cold, but uh, it actually feels pretty cold still. It's been in my pack. It tastes like camping. I love it. So yeah, just kind of chilling here in the woods. You can see, have my jacket on. It was just, it was just time. I was getting a little chilly. I'm um, getting a little hungry. I'll probably start cooking food soon. But for now, I'm just kind of sitting in the dark. Kind of just throwing little bits on this fire, keeping it going a little bit. I don't want it to get too big. I am stealth camping, after all. Don't want a big fire. I just want a fire. I don't know if the camera's picking up on it. All those lights back there, just cars driving by. <sighs> yeah, some deer running by, some squirrels, or some birds, like 10 minutes ago, even though it's dark. <sighs> it's not too late. I'd say it's about, I'd say it's approximately 626 at night, just approximately, just to, just a ballpark. <clears throat> I know I usually post weekly and lately that's kind of fallen off, and that's really just because I've been so busy with work, which is awesome. I love being busy with work. My work is... A passion. For those of you don't, that don't know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an animator, a freelance animator. So I work with different clients, doing different projects for animation, like whatever it may be. And just lately, it's been, uh, it's been hot. It's a hot commodity. So I've had, I've been working like 10 to 12 hour days, just, you know, one day off a week if I'm lucky, just like goose egg time to go camping. So I, it, if I'm being quite frank, it's still that way. <laughs> um, probably should be working right now, but uh, I had to get out. The day was so nice and I wanted to make a video 
and I just I just needed it you know if you know you know you know if you haven't been camping in a while and you're an avid camper it's uh, you, you gotta get out you gotta you gotta taste the forest and I, I mean literally lick it you have to lick the forest you have to lick the tr I've already licked this tree up and down don't don't ask it it didn't it didn't seem like it liked it but I liked it I need it. this is about me uh, I licked some of the ground I licked the moss I licked the moss over there uh, there's a squirrel I tried to lick he was a little crafty uh, if I get my hands on those deer I'm gonna lick them too uh, you know what you mean if you're an avid camper you know you know you gotta you gotta lick the forest you gotta lick the forest you know it's it's really hard to try and have a small fire and get coals for cooking. Um, I've been struggling with this for a while. I got the fire going, but it's just, it's not. I, I need a big fire for coals. And this is just not, it's not happening. This, this is the kind of coals that you bring your Amazon package to, not the kind of coals you cook on. Uh, it's getting kind of late. It's close to nine o'clock. It's it's uh, it's eating time. Hopefully this next or hopefully that 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 blast is gonna is gonna make a huge difference. So one of the problems I'm facing right now is none of this wood is good for making coals it's it's punky it's not good it's not it's not great wood it's soft wood i guess you'd call it soft wood nobody wants that i don't want that nobody wants that so uh I, I just keep pouring wood onto this fire trying to make coals trying to get it going and it's frustrating to say the least uh i'm hungry it's after nine o'clock at night i have not eaten dinner and I think it's just about time I kind of finagle what I got to finagle to make dinner, to make dinner happen. Uh, I'm very excited about dinner tonight. Uh, it, I was originally going to do uh, some glizzies on the coals, some hot dogs, some uh, jalapeno cheddar dogs on the coals. But then I decided to elevate it. You know, this is an elevated menu. Everyone's doing an elevated menu. And uh, I think small plots is no different. So. Uh, what I did was I took a few jalapeno cheddar dogs and I just kind of draped them in bacon in tin foil. Just draped them. Didn't wrap them. Just draped them. I'll put it bacon down. And then I uh, kind of I seasoned the bacon with some paprika and put a little bit of sauerkraut on there. So I have kind of like a little medley there. And I'll eat it. In, I'll, I'll eat everything in, in tortillas. I have some tortillas that I'll eat it in. Um, but I have to cook it all in tin foil, and uh, I just can't. I just can't get good coals to put the tin foil on. It's just flame. This wood's balls. This is just balls wood. It's not good. I have everything I need here. I got. Uh, the, the, this, this is just a, uh, a nice, nice little package. You know, I marked one side and I think that was meant to be the hot dog side. Um, I'm going to put it the other side down though, because that's the bacon side. Like I said, I didn't wrap them. I draped them and the, uh, jalapeno cheddar dogs pre-cooked Johnsonville, whatever, whatever High, Highland ranch, whatever the stupid brand name is. Um, they're, they're pre-cooked, so uh, I'm not worried about cooking them. I am worried about cooking the bacon. So I'm going to put this side down, just the bacon side down. That, that's, that's how it's done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just kind of let that chill for a little while um, until I start smelling bacon, and I'll probably flip it over and flip it over again. It's going to be good. I'm so excited. This is going to be this is going to be some good 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 chops.
Hey guys, don't forget, head on over to Sam Bananas channel on YouTube here and uh, wish him a happy birthday. It was his birthday recently by the time this video will have posted. Uh, go wish him a happy birthday. If you're watching this video months after it's posted, uh, I appreciate you. Uh, don't do that though. Don't. He, it's, it, his birthday was months ago. Don't. You, there's no need. Um, tell him I sent you. Tell him Kevin from Small Plot sent you. Um, Sam, Sam was so awesome in helping me cross the 10K threshold. Um, sub subscribers. Uh, he uh, he did a little dance. He did a little song in his video. It was fantastic. Small Plot with Kevin is a good channel. Make sure that you check him out. Boom, 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 boom. Like I, I was touched. I was. I loved it. I, it was fantastic. Uh, a lot of people came over. Thank you guys for coming over. A lot of people popped in the comments saying, Sam Banana sent me. Sam Banana sent me. It was awesome. Uh, thank you, Sam. Happy birthday, buddy. And uh, go go wish Sam a happy birthday. Unless unless you're watching this months later. Then don't don't do that. He he'll be confused. Here we go. Okay, so I got this cutting board. If, you, if you've been around this channel before, you've seen this cutting board. It's my favorite camping cutting board. It was five bucks at Walmart. It does the job. You can even see some like ingrained like pieces of coal that have just like popped. It's just, it's just in there. It's just, it's just ingrained in there. Anyway, um, I gotta figure out how to get that up on here. Um, fingers? Oh boy. That was not bad. Aluminum is fantastic for not retaining heat and cooking on. All right, here we go. Hello. All right, yeah, that's wiener side. We don't want wiener side. Oh, it's juicy. E. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's so hot. Oh, this is this is kind of like a a treasure. Pull my sleeves up for this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's, that's how you can tell it's good when the inside of the tin foil is orange. Okay, uh, one more layer to go. I <laughs> really like went crazy on the layers because I didn't, I didn't want it to break and I want it to cook correctly. <laughs> so here, just another layer. I, took, I put like two or three on there. Oh my gosh, there it is. There's the food. Oh no. Oh, that looks nuts. Oh, it looks amazing. So there is the uh, sauerkraut on top of the bacon, on top of the jalapeno cheddar dogs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you guys, you guys. All right, so I got some tortillas here. Not a big deal, just some tortillas. Just a man in a city park with some tortillas. It's not a big deal, I'm gonna just calm down. I'm gonna have to like finagle something here. Um, like I said, there's no, it's not like wrapped. So I'll grab a, I'll grab a, a wiener here. It's a jalapeno cheddar dog. And then I'll grab a, a piece of bacon or two or something or whatever that ends up being. Let me get some sauerkraut. Let me just uh, sauerkraut that up. Oh yeah. Here we go. Now that's a camp meal. That's how you camp with a meal. That's how you eat dinner at 10 o'clock at night in the in a city park. 
Uh, side note, I'm very glad this is cooked so I can stop feeding the fire. That fire has been annoying and I don't need it. It's like 50 degrees out here. That's, I think that's the move. Oh yeah, this is pretty, pretty decent. Move things out of the way so I don't drip. It turns out a jalapeno cheddar dog with bacon and sauerkraut is disgusting. Who would want to eat this? I'm kidding. It's amazing. I love it. I'm so pumped. I have it. The sauerkraut adds a little something. It's kind of like a last minute decision to add the sauerkraut. I'm glad I did. It adds something. I'm pumped on that. Whew. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, speaking of pumped. Guys, go watch my Groundhog Day video last week. Nobody watched it. Nobody watched my Groundhog Day video. Granted, I posted it several days after Groundhog Day, but it was a fun time. We dressed up in hot, uh, top hats. We were gentlemen about it. Some of my favorite videos are like my least watched videos. Like the bird video. Go check out the bird video. Nobody watches the bird video. I. It was like it is a last summer bird video. Bird video. Just go to the bird video. This is really awesome. I'm gonna keep eating these. I have a couple more left. And uh, yeah, just just know that I'm experiencing this in a hardcore and yet satisfactory way. Oh, fourth bread. Ah, uh, that was so amazing. That was such a great meal. I am pumped. Uh, man, I, I should have put more sauerkraut on it. The sauerkraut made it. It was it was so good. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, just kind of chilling here. The fire is burning out. I don't think I'm gonna feed it too much more. It's getting kind of late. I'm contemplating bed. Not quite yet, but soon soon. I heard some woman yelling over there. It happens. It's a populated area. Hopefully she doesn't look into the woods and see this giant light that I'm holding in my hand right here. But yeah, pardon me. Uh, bed is soon. Bed is imminent. Bed is soon and imminent. Good lord. Well, here we are in the hammock. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's not the greatest hang <laughs> in the world. Um, I'm hanging off the hammock a little bit, but I'm comfortable. You can kind of probably tell just <laughs> like how, how this is working. My feet are kind of hanging off a little bit. Not, not like off, off, just a little off. <sighs> but I am tired and it is time for sleep. Um, I'm not anticipating anything, you know, outlandish in the night. But if it happens, hey, if it happens, it happens. And I will let you guys know. But uh, if it doesn't happen, then I'll see you guys in just a second. Beautiful, peaceful morning out here. Not a bad night, not a bad sleep. I slept most of it, and then I woke up around four because there were like animals <laughs> around. I had to make some noises to get them to run away. Soon, some, I don't think it was deer, I think it was like a raccoon or a possum or it could even be like a rat or something. I don't know. I don't think a rat would freak out if I yelled. Oh, but I, I could hear it uh, assuming what it was doing. I didn't see it. But I have, uh, I have my, uh, my stuff over here. Clean it up, obviously, but, <clears throat> um, 
I kind of heard like See if we can see any footprints. No, nothing. Maybe they weren't even over here doing that, but it sounded like I heard like, oh, I'm pretty thirsty. I drank almost all my water. Um, I wanted to wake up a little earlier and get out of here, um, but I just, just didn't. So uh, I was lucky enough to stick around long enough to have it barely sprinkle for like, 15, 20 minutes, so I get to put my tarp away wet. Pretty swamp in the morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack up pretty quick here and get out. Gotta get home, get to work, get some more water. Yeah, let's do that. All right, all packed up, ready to spring forward into the day, ready to launch myself face first into the day. Uh, goodbye, small plot. Mwah. It's been a good small plot here on this little plot here. Uh, now getting out of here, that's going to be the interesting thing. I could technically just go through the brush that way to where the traffic is, but it's really brushy. Um, and I've already seen people walk by this morning, probably with their dogs or whatever. Uh, that's just weird. It's less weird if I come out of a park, out of the sidewalk, than just blast through the forest. Uh, that's how you get the cops called on you. I'm so thirsty. Uh, there's a little... There, there's two places I can buy a drink on the walk home. However, both of them are really inconvenient, and I have to cross an annoying busy road three times just to get just to get drinks, because they're, it's on the opposite side of the, of the road. It's, it's like, the, the sidewalk ends before it happens, so I gotta cross the other side, and I gotta cross back over the other side to get to the store, then I gotta cross back over the other side to get home. So, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how I'm doing once I get over there. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna just kinda go this way, this way I came. Just do that, just gonna do that. Huh. So as I'm walking this way, um, I don't know if this is exactly where I came. It, maybe I came on a little different trail. Um, but there's definitely, there was a smaller boot print and an occasional dog print. I don't think someone would have been able to, yeah, see, here we go. See, here's a, here's a print next to my boot way bigger <laughs> my guess is probably i just missed him yesterday it's probably somebody came in you know yesterday or the day before just exploring um i don't think somebody and their dog would have been able to sneak up on me last night and then just walk away it's possible uh maybe when i was sleeping but that would have been weird in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night okay i, I don't know what i'm trying to do here <laughs> he's trying to get through sticks so many sticks Somebody call the police. There's so many sticks in this forest. God. Alright. Plenty of deer prints. But that is just par for the course. Okay, just gotta go through these sticks. Lots of sticks. More sticks. Ah. Oh hey, there you go. A uh, hunting stand in a public park. If this is your hunting stand, take it down. Stop shooting bullets in a public park. Is that considered poaching when you have an illegal hunting stand and you're legally hunting, or is that just illegally hunting? I'm not sure the legal definition between poaching and just hunting illegally. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, of course, it takes my camera too long to turn on. There's just a big old deer ran past there. Probably the same one I saw coming in. Oh, but I think this is the way out here. Yeah, there's, there they are. There they are. Hey, guys. It's a few of them. Yeah, hey. Looking right at me. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I'm the guy. 
Yeah, I probably could just go up that way. But I won't. You know, follow these deer. It's a huge deer. They're <laughs> absolutely enormous. Man, maybe I'll set up a hunting stand and start hunting back here. This is great. And I think this is just I don't know if this is the swamp I came in through, but it's a swamp. Can you imagine if I didn't wear these boots? Like if I just had a regular boots on, I wouldn't be able to do this. I don't know what I would have done. I had to find a new place to camp. <laughs> this whole forest is just a swamp. Back up into the park with garbage. I feel like there's more garbage. Man, people are just awful. Let's just throw garbage in the woods. Like that. Way too much for me to pick up and take out of my own. Wait, this is a whole, this whole area. This is a public park. Something like in yellow over there across the water. That's weird. That's not part of the park. That's where homes are. Um, yeah. Nobody here? Just walking out. Oh, yeah, somebody. Somebody picked up and collected these and just put them there. You know, people were busy here last night doing good work, piling the garbage. Oh, huh. well, I made it out. I'm already really warm. Oh, there's another big bite. Just trashed. I know it's the winter, but still. Please. Ooh, a little raccoon poop. Well, there it is. Wait. The place that I'm not going to go to because it's just a pain in the butt to get to. I got to cross the street Wait. a few times. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, maybe this is one I'm forgetting about down wait. here, but I think I'm, I'm waiting. Uh, but I think I'm going to just wait till I get home. Wait. That's what I'm going to do. I can't wait. There's another gas station over here in a less busy area. I'm going to pop in and get some Gatorades or water or something. I just can't. I can't. I'm so thirsty and I have like a 45-minute walk ahead of me. Uh. Oh, that was needed. Definitely needed. Got a couple of Gatorades. And he gave me a bag. Which I'm pretty sure is illegal in New York, but I'm not complaining. I'm gonna save this bag. I gotta import bags. I gotta connect in Florida for plastic bags. Sam Bananas has hooked me up with plastic bags in the past. I, I gotta get these plastic bags. Uh, it's what ill gotten means. Alright. Well, there's, uh, there's like a thousand people running at me right now. Not really sure. Gets just out for a little. Hi there! <laughs> a little uh, Saturday run here. Just gonna kind of hug the wall. Good morning! Good morning. <laughs> all these people, all the people. Oh, they're running. Oh, they're getting a little run in. Oh. Have some stragglers. Honestly, it's kind of a beautiful morning for it. <sighs> the rain holds out anyway. The rain did not hold off. It's not too bad sprinkling, but it is rain. Back into the downtown. Area of the city now. Oh, it, was a, it was a fun, fun little stealth camp we went on last night. Nothing too crazy. Animals were a bit annoyed that I was there, but other than that, I mean, it's possible I was snuck up on in the night by a small woman and her dog. But I mean, wouldn't be the first time in a camping video. How's it going? Oh, hey, sorry. Hey, sorry, no worries. Just camping. Oh, yeah. Very, very peaceful Saturday morning here. Not too much going on. The city's much quieter on the weekends. Just gonna 
just gonna cross. It's not my time to cross, but I'm going to cross. I gotta go with the car coming. I had some good beers. Had uh, had some good meal. Next time I do something like that, I gotta add more sauerkraut. The sauerkraut was awesome, uh, and I didn't put enough in. So it was it was awesome, not awesome enough. Uh, well, this has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget, new episodes of Small Plots on a Tuesday. I try to hit every Tuesday. I don't always hit every Tuesday. It's tough. It's tough to get a video out. I don't do this full time or anything. Um, but I get them out as frequently as I can. Hopefully I can get back uh, to a, a weekly schedule pretty soon here. Well, thanks for watching till the end here, everybody. And I'll catch you on that. The more I think of it, I think there was a small woman and a dog watching me last night next to you. Mwah.